to play at his best, doesn't want to go for the better matchup, instead just playing his best. Hmm. We'll see. We'll, we'll see. We'll see. It depends how this match goes. Like, I, I'm definitely thinking if he just gets, like, destroyed versus Zero Suit, he'll uh, go to Diddy Kong. But that's just my, you know, my guess. If he gets absolutely destroyed, he might. Oh, man. Jump Steady's looking to actually start the destruction off quick. Ah, okay. Yeah, I think zero they, to death. Bring back the Diddy. Did not get touched that stock at all. And I, I, I want to say that was bad DI, but he was just so close to, like, the Blast I'm Zone already that... It just, it just might have been death, dude. Yeah, bring, bring out the Diddy. <laughs> oh, and Jump Day's Day Day not slowing down at all. Look at these hit confirms. And, like, the thing is, because of Roy's increased, um, increased, or decreased, rather, knockback when you hit the Koopa cart, Zero Suit's up here are, are going to link into each other and into Abby much for much longer than normal. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, like, uh, just the way I'm seeing Jump Steady play the neutral in general right now, it just seems like he knows how to contest these approaches from Bowser Jr. He's blocking all the right spots. Is that going to be an... Oh, my goodness. Bring out the Diddy. Oh, my God. Now... Now, of all times to go, Diddy, this might be it. This, this might be the time. Just catch up. Not looking too hot right now on that Bowser Jr. There's the Diddy Kong. Yep. All right. This is my favorite. Um, you know, it's my favorite Koopaling Diddy Kong. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, much better I mean, matchup here. It's just a smaller version of the Grappler. It's the same thing. Like Koopalings to Bowser, Diddy to DK. <laughs> like it's it's the same character. Okay. So much better matchup here. Um, Diddy Kong having that amazing forward air, uh, being able to contest most of Zero Suit's jump ins. It's mainly where Zero Suit likes to approach it, just jump in with a maybe a narrow shield. D can see that coming and just get the easy forward air and harass Zero Suit. Also, has the nature of uh, banana punches as well, just really a uh, good neutral tool to just beat this character. Oh. I gain that max range banana as a punish on the grab, but not actually finding a follow up to the banana. Yeah. They're unfortunate for catch up. Now, another thing though, a uh, jump stay does. Uh, have a lot of practice versus K9's Diddy Kong as well. So he's not, even though it's like a, a bad matchup for Zero Suit, it's not one that he's just completely unfamiliar with. If anything, he's uh, more familiar with that, this matchup than uh, Roy Kuka. Yeah, but as much as he can be familiar, it's still a pretty bad matchup. Diddy Kong, oh. difficult character, a hit, but what a read on that hero dodge. Downside doesn't get the spike hit of the flip kick. That definitely would have been death for catch up. Definitely, but uh, Jump Stay is still keeping up the pressure here. He's not really getting hit by things that are just flat out uh, dangerous for him to drop the stock. Yeah, but now Ketchup actually looking like he might be in position to find the first stock very soon. That back air actually went straight through the banana, though. Okay, Ketchup looking to make the trip happen, but uh, Jump said he seems pretty aware of, like, like these main, like, banana trips that uh, Ketchup's going for. Like, if he just kind of throws in neutral, he has an op uh a defense ready for parry, but oh my goodness. That back is just going to do it for catch up. And that's the thing about when you main a character versus when you secondary them. You don't put in as much time into your secondary, so you don't quite know all of the tricks and setups. You just go for the basic bread and butters, and that's kind of what we're seeing from catch up. Um, obviously, it's doing well keeping the game relatively close between him and uh, Jump Stay, but that said, when Jump Stay has this much matchup practice, it's going to be hard for him to get anything actually by him. Yeah. Luckily, uh, for catch up there, Jump Stay not getting the full punish on that up there combo. Because the rage he has now could have been actually really dangerous. Like, this is like probably the worst case scenario when you're fighting against a zero suit. Like, they have a stock advantage and they have the rage. There's no that the next big punish could actually just be the game. Yeah, no, a grab could actually just kill catch up right now. Or a dash attack, apparently. Ooh. But no, not going to get the last hit of that uppy. Ketchup staying alive, but 53% on him. That Zero actually stuffing out the monkey flip. Okay, he's going to go for the back throw, throw him off stage. Not going to be the stock, but let's see if he actually has an edge trap here. Doesn't catch the flip jump. Oh, just runs right in his face with the tether grab. A lot of range there. Just a lot of people just don't expect to get grabbed at like, that type of distance. But Oh, that forward air almost going to do it, but... DI keeping jump stay alive. Oh, he got the banana hit, but doesn't go for the up so and does get the mash in time to avoid getting boost kick for free. So he is going to get the punch with the up smash. Not, not even that Diddy can't come back from because he can rack up damage really quick and get a lot of answers for how Zero Suit approaches the neutral. 
but he's going to have to play a little bit safer because he's been getting tagged by Jump Steady uh, a lot this whole game so far. Oh, gets another grab. Uh, didn't pull Banana in a safe spot. Jump Steady saw he was vulnerable and got the free grab, but no invincibility here. Gets the slight delay on the up B. Okay. Get the punch on the boost kick. Doesn't get the double back here, but does get jump stay in position where he might be able to get uh, a little bit of punches there. Does get the trip on the tether grab as well, so he's staying alive. Right. Does get the trip he's looking for, but jump steady trying to find an opening to close this out. Okay. Oh. Catch up getting the grab, a great match from jump okay. steady. Be another free hit. Jump steady getting a little greedy with these uh, these grabs in neutral right now. Might be a little bit too uh, greedy to get this stock off. It doesn't take much for Kessel to come back. He just plays. Uh, the neutral well enough to get a few more hits. Yeah, and Daycon, the kind of character that's never really out of it when he can just get oh a my few goodness. hits here and there, rack up good damage. That photo catching the air dodge. That was so close. He <laughs> he matched out at the perfect time. And now we got even game right now. If he has a trip into like a down tilt, maybe like slightly charged S smash, he's definitely killed at this point. Oh, he actually covered the spot dodge. <laughs> wow, and catch Second hit of F smash. Ketchup actually able to bring that game all the way back. Yeah. Again, um, okay, I don't know why Scourge Mob's getting in the cat. What is he doing? What is he doing? He's being Scourge Mob. Oh my god, go, please, Scourge please Mom. switch to the game. Please, Nate, switch to the game, please. <laughs> Let's go, Scourge Mob. Oh my god. Anyway. Um, yeah, Jump Steady actually was getting really greedy there for the kill just because he had a pretty good lead like super big percentage lead all right doing that against diddy kong is just this is not a good idea it's because he has so many safe ways to just rack up damage but uh, now we're getting the dreamland pick really strong zero suit stage namely due to the platforms as soon as he catches some air dodging on these platforms take him to the top really easily yeah, but Ketchup throwing the banana the wrong way. Able to land with the folder and maintain stage control. Has the banana in hand. Just going to get rid of it, though. All right, so something you got to know about a Zero Suit's neutral air. If you power shield it, you kind of have to wait for them to uh, throw the jab because that's mainly what they do to uh, pressure your shield right after. That's when you can only get a punish. But great pivot grab on the landing. He's going to take him all the way to the top, and he just gets deleted. Like You don't even see like him hit the blast zone. He literally just goes to the top, takes the boost kick, and he's already out of there. Yeah, I'm really shocked that K9 would, uh, sorry, catch up would give Jump Stay the uh, the tri platform stages. I kind of expect that to be the banner. I feel like he should be more comfortable uh, on like a town and city than on this against Zero Suit. I don't know. Maybe he's also comfortable on the stage, but with the DL you see on the boost kick, definitely questionable. Uh, Lack of banging this stage. But still, we saw Kesha make the crazy comeback already in the last game. It's not anything that you can't come back from. Especially around this percent as well. It just needs one trip, down tilt, up smash. Definitely want to close it out. Alright, gets the crab actually out of that dash track, goes for the up throw. Catch uh, good frame trap back here. Misses because of the air dodge, but he is able to get the up air. Yeah. Uh, up, uh, up, or sorry, air dodging an up throw from Diddy on this stage is pretty risky just because if you uh, air dodge on the top platform, they can get an easy up smash punish if they expect to. Also, I'd like to see Kesho go for more up tilt just because uh, Jump Stay just been. Oh, oh wow. And that actually Kesho worked. Jump Stay shit. actually uh, kind of shaking it off, has a smart guy's face, like, okay, you know what, you got it. Okay, unsafe monkey flip is going to lead to a pretty hard punish and catching the oh, air, dodge air dodge. Another. There. Oh my goodness. Oh! Jump steady SD. Jumping back at C. He did not mean to SD there. Oh.